CKM syndrome, also known as cardiovascular kidney metabolic syndrome, is a newly identified medical condition recognized by the American Heart Association. The main idea behind CKM syndrome is the close link between obesity and diabetes as strong predictors of heart and kidney diseases. Hence, it's important to screen for and treat these conditions simultaneously. The major risk factors for this syndrome are obesity, diabetes, and age. To better manage and identify this syndrome, it has been divided into stages from 0 to 4, each indicating the progression and risk factors present. Stage 0. This stage represents individuals who don't have any risk factors for CKM syndrome. Their blood glucose, blood pressure, cholesterol, triglycerides, and HDL levels are normal. It's advisable to start screening individuals in this stage after the age of 20 to catch any potential risk factors early on. Stage 1. Here, the most common feature is obesity or an unhealthy distribution of body fat, like an apple-shaped body with increased waist circumference. The goal for individuals in this stage should be to lose at least 5% of body fat to reduce their risk of progressing to the next stage. Stage 2. In this stage, individuals might already have diabetes or high blood pressure. Due to the increased risk of kidney damage, more frequent kidney monitoring and screening are recommended. Stage 3. Individuals may show early signs of heart diseases such as coronary artery calcification, which can be detected through a specific X-ray test called a coronary calcium scan. Sometimes, individuals might have calcifications in their arteries without noticeable symptoms. However, symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue, especially during physical exertion, might occur. There might also be the presence of metabolic risk factors and or kidney disease in the early stages of cardiovascular disease, CVD, which may be asymptomatic. Stage 4. At this stage, individuals have symptomatic CVD in addition to excess body fat, various metabolic risk factors, and or kidney disease. They might have already had a heart attack or stroke, or present with conditions like heart failure, peripheral artery disease, or atrial fibrillation. Individualized treatment is crucial to manage and alleviate the symptoms and progression of the syndrome. 